kudos to Indivisible Houston. They got the job done. Uh, Benjamin Hernandez uh, did a great job in really cornering, exposing Ted Cruz. And you know what's the best part about it? They finally get a national recognition. And not only that, but their act gave the marching orders to the rest of the country as far as how, how to engage the extremist MAGA politicians who are placing this country in mortal danger. Check this out, and then we'll take it on the other side. Ezra, let me bring you into this conversation. The Senate, in my view, ridiculously, is on vacation right now. But a small bipartisan group of senators is meeting to discuss whether they can reach consensus on very basic, very limited uh, set of policies to address gun violence, including an expansion of background checks. How confident are you that they will get it done? I'm not confident we're talking about the Senate here, but just because I'm not confident doesn't mean that it's impossible. We know that because of Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, we can't get rid of the Phil. They've refused to join with the other Democrats to do that. That means you need 10 Republicans on board. So am I saying that we need Mitch McConnell to do us a favor? No, Mitch McConnell is not going to do us a favor. The Republicans in the Senate are not going to do us a favor. But what we do know is that Mitch McConnell and the Republicans move when they perceive some amount of political threat, when they think, oh, if I don't back down, I am going to suffer politically. And so what our job is in this moment, I'm not talking about Democratic senators. I'm not talking about the president. I'm talking about all of us, all of us watching in this moment. Our job is to change the political calculus of those Republican senators. That means joining up with March for Our Lives on June 11th on protests all across the country. And it means taking a, a, a cue from the folks in Indivisible Houston, down in Houston, who found Ted Cruz in a restaurant and said, hey, why are you against common sense? gun violence prevention laws. Get behind us in this. We so, need everybody, whether you've got a Democrat or a Republican, getting involved in this moment and changing what's politically possible. So you mentioned, uh, Ezra, the, uh, the Ted Cruz incident. We have tape of that. That was an activist uh, from your group confronting Senator Ted Cruz right after we attended the NRA convention that took place three days after the shooting in Uvalde. Let's have a look at that clip and then I'll, I'll get your reaction on the other side. You can make it harder for people to get guns in this country, sir. You know that. No, you know that. But you stand here. You stand at the, you stand at the NRA, NRA convention. It is harder. It is harder when there are more guns to stop gun violence. It is not ignorant. We are in this country and there are guns everywhere. And there are kids dying. There are kids dying. Why is it so hard? Why did this keep happening? Talk about it in his face. And why did you come here to the convention to take blood money? Why? When 19 children died. 19 children died. That's on your hands. That is on your hands. Ezra, we're not aware of any public response from Ted Cruz to that clip or incident yet. But I have to ask, as much as I enjoy watching that, and I'm sure many people at home think, yes, that is the thing to do. Can you really shame people who have no shame? Oh, no, you can't shame Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is probably going to fly over to Cancun next week. I'm sure that's what he likes to do. The point here isn't to shame Ted Cruz. The point here is to make it very, very clear to everybody watching, not just folks watching us right now, but everybody at home watching who uh, is not a partisan on this issue, isn't a, you know, a Republican or a Democrat or an independent. They just want common sense gun laws. And they are watching interactions like this between Ted Cruz and his constituents where Ted Cruz says, you don't know what you're talking about. We need to face a reality in this country that there is a marginal, radical, MAGA extremist faction of the Republican Party that is controlling policy for the entire nation. They are a radical, dangerous minority. We are the normal yes. majority. And if we well, take the fight to them, and this is on guns, this is on abortion, this is on contraception, this is on teachers, this is on schools, this is on our democracy. We are in the majority, yes. they are in the minority. And if we well, take the fight to them, it makes it more difficult for them to prevent us from doing popular things. We spend a lot of time. Absolutely so. We have to take the fight to them. And that is what was great about what Benjamin Hernandez did 
with uh, with uh, uh, Indivisible Houston. He took it to them and he showed the rest of the country how it is done. Now it is incumbent upon move to amend. It's incumbent upon swing left. It's incumbent upon all the other chapters of Indivisible Houston. It's incumbent upon every single progressive organization out there to follow those politicians who are doing exactly what they always do, lie to the American, I'm talking about the, the MAGA Republicans and the appeasing MAGA Republicans. They are the ones that need to be bird dog. They're the ones that need to be challenged at every turn so that America can see the fraud that they are. And once America see the fraud that they are, then it is possible to make the changes that we need to get changed, changed. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.